One FM 98.1.3 Good Times Greatest Hits Fat Boy Slim and Praise You Checking us to about 8.08 On a Wednesday morning How you doing? And we are joined in the studio Here on the Bright Side By some very special guests Because you know Wild Wednesday <laughs> It's a Wild Wednesday We're chatting with Our friends from the Singapore Zoo This morning Let's welcome to the studio Kumara and Sesh- Seshi And Wendy Chua Hello and good morning. Hi. good morning Good morning guys Oh you guys are so wonderful To be here Now Kumara You are the assistant curator Overseeing the great apes The orang utans And the chimpanzees I'm so curious to see How naughty or cheeky They can be But yeah. you look very calm You look like You're ahead of their game Yeah <laughs> And uh, Wendy You are the HR So to speak For animals The orang utan matchmaker What yeah. does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean Wendy? I, I put them all On Tinder account And I swipe left and right That's <laughs> <it>. Oh hello <laughs> well, I manage them uh, From a scientific uh Point of view mm. yeah, So I look at Genetic analysis Demography of the population And then it's not only About managing The orangutans In the Singapore Zoo But across all Southeast Asian zoos uh, uh, So, yeah. wow. so Zinder mm. The Zoo Tinder yep. <laughs> Right It's an exclusive app Mm. Only for zookeepers But yes. not just for Singapore But Southeast Asia So you're actually yeah. aware Of the numbers In Southeast yes, Asia yes, yes. And whether it's growing Or falling And you do something about it Yes, correct Oh my goodness That's a that's a very unique job I gotta say I mean th- These are um, um, Both unique jobs And I'm curious to know uh, Kumar, starting with you how, how did you get Into this profession? Because yeah. you, you've been With the zoo since 1997 Yeah, 1997 Early Jan I started uh, Growing up Me and my friends Were always hanging around In the Forested area at wow. Woodlands. Okay. Before most of the expressways were up, mm. so we spent weekends uh, going into the forest first thing in the morning. So we were so exposed to wild animals. Wow. And, and there, were, there were quite a lot of animals. Yeah, there were still quite a lot of wild animals. Uh, and after that, I started my national service, mm-hmm. and from there, I joined the zoo in right. 1997. And so you, you felt you had a natural affinity for yeah. for animals from y- from young. Ooh. I had. Uh, Always had a lot of interest in animals. Uh, and what about you, Wendy? How did you get started in this? Because of my dad, I think. Okay. I grew wow. up walk, watching a lot of uh, documentaries on oh. animals and all. And then it's just I just chanced upon a part-time keeper opportunity. So I jumped okay. on it. And then since then, I'm with the zoo since 2006. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So you've both been there quite some time now. Yeah. I think that says a lot about, you know, that you love what you do, right? Yeah. To just be there for so many years. I mean, uh, we've been told that Kumara and your favorite thing uh, at the end of a stressful day is, uh, yeah, going to see the uh, apes, the babies, you know, Aww. and uh, they climb onto your lap, they hold your hands and that just melts the stress away. Aww. Yeah, that's very true. Uh, when you're having a horrible day, you just go back to the uh, animals, they kind of know that oh. you're having a horrible day. So they come up to you. Uh, moms with babies will just pass their babies to you oh. for you to carry and cuddle. What? Really? To check. The orangutans? They yeah. give you the baby to mm-hmm. hold? With the relationship we have I with think the orangutans. You, you built up oh, that. Yeah, so we built sweet. a relationship over years. Oh. Carol's <laughs> like going to the That's zoo. That's melting my Where's heart. your baby? Give it to me. Yeah. <laughs> no. Aww. So newborn babies, we help uh, the moms as well. Aww. Check the babies, clean the babies. Uh, we spend first 24, 48 hours staying with them, sleeping right next to them. Mm. Sleeping watching, next yeah. to them. Wow. wow. We do round the clock observation initially for the first 24 at least hours. I think we need to point out that, you know, your roles as a zookeepers and what you do uh, for the animals is such a dedicated job. It you is. Know, it's talking about sacrifices away from family, you know, nights away from your home, mm. from a comfortable bed. We take all that for granted. Thank you for what you do. I love the zoo. My kids love the zoo Can too. Can you be honest? Are they quite cheeky? If you had a choice <laughs> to look after a human or an orangutan, which one would you pick? I'll choose the orangutan. <laughs> Hey, that was and not three boys. even a pause. Yeah. That was. That I've was got two kids, quick. and I know I would definitely choose an orangutan <laughs> right? because we have cheeky monkeys as kids. But you prefer the orangutan? Definitely. For okay. real? Yeah. Yeah. Why is that? Right. They don't talk back. Oh, <laughs> see, I would Love choose it. the orangutans too. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, y'all say that now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, join us on Facebook Live, you guys. Facebook.com slash one fm ninety one point three. We are. Uh, joined in the studio by Wendy Tra as well as Kumar and Sashi. They are uh, very important people at the Singapore Zoo. One of them is the Orang Utan matchmaker. And the other one actually <laughs> curates the great apes uh, here at the Singapore Zoo. Very interesting stuff. The chat continues on Facebook. Back with more in a bit. Keen to pick up a new hobby? Hello. 
Mango, everyone on Facebook. Hey, everyone. Now, remember when you chime on in, give us your questions for our studio guests because it might just win you that $100 dining voucher from Shirashi Sushi Zushi Show. <laughs> They have amazing Shirashi Dawn, so please jump on that as well. And this is your chance to really get a behind the scenes look at all that happens at mm. the zoo. So, here yeah, we are here with uh, Kumar and Wendy uh, from uh, Mandai Wildlife Group and or Singapore Zoo, to be more precise. That's where you guys work. Uh, Wendy, um, in your role at the Singapore Zoo, you wear many hats, right? Very interesting. Um, the orangutan matchmaker we've spoken about as well. But can you, can you tell us more about what exactly you do as a curator? So I am the curator of animal data management and transactions and also the curator of primates. So uh, I manage a group of girls and then we take care of the... Or we manage our... Girl humans or girl girl, girl or Yeah, I was human. about to ask that. <laughs> She's an HR, remember? I call, I call them my ladies, you know, my group oh. of ladies. Yeah, and then after that, we um, manage the data of the animals. And that's where the profile of the HR of the animal came from. And then besides managing the data of the animal, we also do international shipments. Oh. So we bring animals in and out of the country. I see. Yeah. And oh. when they go out of the country, do you have to accompany them? Depending on some of the species, some of the animals are a little bit more sensitive. And then we yeah. send grooms along with the animals. And they will say throughout their yeah. overseas stint. We send grooms? Yeah. Like the person who accompanies the animal. Like the caretaker. Mean, yeah. They're called grooms. Yeah. Oh, okay. Not male order grooms that, you know, you yeah, come and like put the them together to... Bride yeah, and groom no, no. kind of... Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Okay. So for the more sensitive ones, like for example, the most mm. recent one when we have a groom to travel along with the animal okay. is the manatees. Uh, oh. Because throughout the journey, they need to monitor the breeding rate. Oh, and, yeah, and right. So on and so forth. Wow. So we have a person with the animal throughout okay. the flight. It's a lot more complicated than we would ever imagine. Mm. I think mm. that's what we need to appreciate here. Yeah, isn't so it? true. Yeah. Uh, do you guys have a favorite animal? Like yes. if you weren't working with your current, you know, don't worry, animals? they're not listening. I promise we they're not going to find. Don't out. hurt yeah. their feelings, yeah. <laughs> Kumaran. Yeah, I started my love for animals was with snakes. Mm. I, I do <laughs> love snakes a lot. Uh, but then when I joined the zoo, my love for apes started mm -hmm. and it's 26 plus years now. Wow. Come on. And I've never changed. You worked with Ameng, right? For yeah. a long, long really? time. For a long time, yeah. The and until she passed on in February 2008. Was that, how that, was that for how you? Was that, I mean, yeah. if you don't mind talking about that, how yeah. was that? I mean, it, were it, you so it was a really sad moment for the team that was working with Ameng, uh, especially the, the main caregiver, Sam, who has retired. Uh, he spent literally all his life with Aming. I spent maybe like 14 years before she That's passed on. That's still a long time. Yeah. And then it took us good eight years to, you know, shortly the next Aming was the granddaughter now right. of the late Aming. But it's so oh. hard to fill her shoes if she wore shoes yeah. because she's just so iconic and her personality wise, she's so unique. I she think had breakfast really with leaders of the world. Yeah, yes. Yes. You know, that yes. was. She had, <laughs> she had tea with Michael Jackson. There you go. I no mean, way. she was. Are there any interesting stories about those, uh, yes, famous How did they, yeah, how were they with, uh, how was Aming with these celebrities? I mean, yeah. Uh, uh, she's always the most gentle orangutan oh. I can remember. You know, she's like a real mother figure. Could she tell when someone was important, you know, like the queen or something? Yeah. Uh, she, oh, she didn't mind. She didn't mind. She, as long as she had a tea there. <laughs> yeah. A tea? You know, yeah. Aming played it cool and doesn't bug them for autographs and say, can I take a selfie? I think I think Aming knew how to keep it. Yeah. Yeah. Do, you still, do you still get quite emotional talking about Aming these days? Uh, sometimes, yeah. But mm. uh, until now, when I talk to my... Uh, former boss about I mean he gets really emotional oh. wow oh, of course because the bond that you develop with the, the animals they you know it's it's unlike any other right true yeah. Yeah. and I think what I mean, you know just her personality what she did with all these you know opportunities for people famous or not to have breakfast with her mm. is really really special it's yeah. hard to recreate that yeah. so I think you know I mean, is just iconic yeah you know I'm, I'm only sad that my kids never knew about I mean, right because yeah, yeah. It, was, it was some time ago. She was a common name all over the yes. world. Yes. Everybody yes. who came Absolutely. to the zoo yes. associated all around Tan as Amings. Mm. Yeah, they only knew Aming. Ah. Mm. Guys, yeah. it, it must be it must be a real source of pride for both of you and, and anyone who works at you know Mandai Wildlife Group to be part of a world class establishment, mm -hmm. right? Because you know you are right at the very top of this industry. Yes, right. I mean, how, how does it feel going to work every day? Um, for me. It's always fun, uh, nice, 
uh, atmosphere, the colleagues, the team, uh, the animals, the tranquility when you're walking into the park. It is tranquil. First, oh, first thing in the morning, true. you don't hear any hustle and bustle of the city or, you know, traffic. Not a tall building in sight. Yeah. How yes, nice is that? That is beautiful. <laughs> very nice for me. What about you, Wendy? Mixture of feelings. <laughs> you f- you feel really relaxed and going into work mm-hmm. and all that because you enjoy the working environment. Yeah. You know who gets to walk into the park and then or walk into the office hearing Siamang calls. Siamang, what? What is Siamang? That? It's uh, one of the biggest. It's one of a gibbon. It's the biggest of all. Oh, uh, gibbon. And this is Wendy. No, they don't. <laughs> no, oh, okay. They have their own unique uh, vocalization, you know. And then we hear them periodically throughout the day, or especially in the morning. When they make their the presence. most active, yeah. is it? I'm the, sorry, sorry, Wendy. I just want to check. We found out what is uh, Kamaran's uh, favorite animal. Mm. What's yours? Mine is a red shang duk langer. What, what is, is that? that? It's <laughs> <laughs> What's that? It's a species of primates oh. who are folivorous. That means they eat browse leaves, primarily oh, okay. leaves. Seventy percent to eighty percent of their diet oh. uh, consists of uh, mm. fresh leaves. Um, oh. Very unique species. They are just like ruminants. Their digestive system is very different from a typical primate or like ah. a macaque who eat fruit. You know, who yeah, has so a interesting, diet interesting, mm, like a cow. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. um, have you learned anything from working with the animals? Like, if, have you observed their behavior and then thought, you know what, this is actually very compassionate, very you know, unique behavior that we humans don't often display. Yeah, uh, animals do teach us a lot. Mm. Throughout the year I've been there, I've realized. Sometimes, sometimes they do teach you patience, mm. how you deal with kids, especially. Mm. You know, for me, all my orangutans are like a two-year-old toddler. Aww. You know, they always having tantrums here and there. Sorry, are we talking about your kids or the, <laughs> the animals? <laughs> the same. Okay. I refer to my kids as orangutans as well. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So I think they do teach us a lot in, uh, in life as well. Sometimes you see them uh, playing with each other, They, you know. They do fight sometimes, mm. and then the next moment they are just back together, uh, cuddling up and playing and yeah. If only we thing. humans could be so forgiving as well, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> That's true. We do have a question from one of our listeners on our Facebook Live, and it's uh, from Adam. He says, "What sort of uh, professional or technical qualifications are required to join the team apart from the love of animals and on-the-job trainings, guys?" I think it depends on what position you are joining but I, I think for us and especially for me because I um, work on the a little bit of a more scientific side of the right. animal management and all uh, so a lot of uh, experience and knowledge and a lot of training hours you know hours and hours of workshop and training on professional uh, uh, population management okay. so there are specific scientific tools sure. that we use uh, to analyze the animal genetics and all so it's not just very in, uh, you know uh, straightforward arming and assing that's all. <laughs> so we look at the scientific uh, um, scientific uh, terms and also aspects such as the genetic ranking, oh, the wow. gene diversity of the entire population, mm. so on and so forth. Okay, we're just going to jump back live on yes. air to continue this conversation. Uh, very intriguing stuff, you guys. Thank you so much for being here today. And of course, to our Facebook crew, uh, do chime on in. It could lead you to a very cool prize from Shirashi Zushi Show. Oh, you said that really well. Sure, Shirashi yeah, Zushi Show. Well, All right. Say oh. three times now. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> All right, back on radio. One FM ninety one point three, good times, greatest hits. Good morning, you're on the bright side. That was Paul Abdul and the promise of a new day. And yeah, if you're feeling a little bit humdrum when you're going to work every morning, imagine what it must be like working at the Singapore Zoo, going in and being greeted with the sound of uh, Wendy Chua. What is it? The Siamang. The Siamang. Oh, it's not a bad word. Uh, <laughs> right? yeah. yes. The largest gibbon, right? The largest kind of gibbon. We are chatting with Wendy Chua, who is the HR for animals and the Orang Utan matchmaker at the Singapore Zoo. And also Kumaran Seshi is joining us here. Also from the Singapore Zoo, he's the assistant curator overseeing the great apes, orang utans, and chimpanzees. In fact, one of our Facebook uh, uh, buddies asked us if you've ever worked with Aming before. Yeah, I've worked with Aming close to 14 years before she passed wow. on, the late Aming. Mm. And uh, Kumaran actually got quite emotional yeah. a little yeah. bit talking about Aming and you know, right. how giving and, and kind she was. Another one of our buddies, uh, Wan Alun, has, uh, asks you guys um, do the animal animals prefer human caretakers to their mums their actual oh mums. great question, question. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. don't worry they're not listening again it's okay you can say the truth because <laughs> Kumaran prefers <laughs> the orangutans to the yeah. humans <laughs> actually it varies 
they 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 are quite uh, choosy sometimes as well. Mm. Right. You know when they are tired uh, playing with their rest, they want to come up to you and get a cuddle. Or oh. when they want a treat, they know they come up to you to get a treat. <laughs> Mom doesn't give them treats. <laughs> ah, what kind Mom of doesn't spoil them. You're like grandparents. You yeah, spoil we are them. like the grandparents. Oh. Yeah. What kind of treats do they get? Uh, fruits, mm. uh, nuts. Mm-hmm. Can uh, they eat things like chocolate? Candy. No, right? They're not supposed no. to. It's not no. part of their diet. Yeah. Okay. yeah. But they can. Their diet is really tailored in the Singapore Zoo. Okay. okay. Yeah, well, there's I no candy stores in the Amazon. <laughs> I remember we did a story not too long ago. I think it was about pandas where the young are sort of neglected. It's part of the way they're... The, 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 the raised. The raised, yeah. right? The parents kind of don't bother with them. But like that's pandas. just how they are. Yeah, pandas, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So they're kind of isolated. So uh. I guess if you guys stepped in with, say, a panda, you would be giving a bit more attention than, say, the mother would. Or, or do you guys try to keep it... Like the the mum would, do you kind of stay away? Do you have to keep it as natural in as nature. possible? We do stay ah. away as far as possible. Ah. Okay, so in whatever's in keeping with the way that they are raised naturally. Okay, yes. I understood. I have this question from one of our listeners. Uh, Eileen Daniel asks, uh, why was Aming named Aming? The old Aming, uh, sorry, the late Aming when she came, uh, she came with that name, Aming. Okay. The person who kept her as a pet didn't even realize that she's a female orangutan and they... <gasps> Oh. Named the Aming. Oh, I see. So when she came with the name uh, Aming, uh, my former boss decided to just stick with stick the name, with that. something that she's very familiar with. I see. Yeah. And she mm. responds to Aming. Yeah, she okay. responds to Aming. Okay. Uh, earlier on off air, we were talking about how you actually started this profession. So, yes. what advice do you have for someone who is keen to go mm. into this profession? Yeah. Join HR, <laughs> HR. That's a question for HR, I think. So besides your passion, a lot of hard work, of course, and dedication and all. And of course, if there is uh, any uh, awareness or, or experience with animal or with zoology Ooh, or animal okay. care or biology will be helpful. So you're saying that they should maybe start seeing if there's any internships or volunteer work they can do with the zoo? They can, they can. Or even oh, join yeah. us as a part-timer even. Ooh. Yeah. I'm sure you guys get a lot of people wanting to come and do internships yeah. and stuff, yeah. right? You do. Mm. I'm yes, sure you do. you do. Yeah. So um, it also gives, sorry, it also gives a uh, person an idea of what they are getting into. Mm. That's, that's a, that's good, a good, point. good point. Yeah. 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 Must yeah. love animals. Must <laughs> that's besides the point. But, you know, there's a lot more to it than... Yeah. Just yeah. feeding, cleaning, and all that. Yeah. Right. And also, like, you know, can you deal with getting dirty in that manner, right? Yeah. Last question for you before we wrap this up. You know, the zoo is going to turn 50 this year. Yeah. Wow. We're talking about the Golden Zubilee. Love that. Uh, can you actually tell us, you know, how the zoo is celebrating this huge milestone? What can we as visitors look forward to? Is there anything the animals can look forward to? Or even you guys looking forward to with the celebration? I think the most exciting one that is coming forward and then I believe registration is going to close soon oh. is that we are bringing back the Mandai Wildlife Run. Okay. So oh. it's like a marathon in the zoo Through around the zoo. Our Yeah, nice. exactly. Carol, cool. you should totally do it. You know, I love it because you can sweat, you can stink and no one can tell because you smell like the zoo. <laughs> the animals <laughs> might judge you though because their sense of smell is better. But that sounds amazing. Yeah. So okay. when you're running, you actually run past Very the animal cool. exhibits and you get nice. to see the animals I think I'll come in last. Yeah. Because so I'll stop, stop to look at the animals. Correct. Like, Can I yeah. carry your baby? Yeah, <laughs> you know. That's what a lot of people do <laughs> for the run, actually. They stop by the exhibits, they take photos. Right. Those who join the a fun, leisure a fun run. Walk, fun run, fun yeah. walk, So the timing yeah. is irrelevant. La. Finish five hours later, it's all good. Yeah. yeah. I would give There's a prize different to category. So if you join the competitive ah. run, those guys ah. okay, cool. uh, are very focused. Focus. And then when you join the fun one, uh, people relax, oh, take a cute. walk. cute. Guys, before we go, um, you, you talked about the sad passing of Ameng. Um, there was also a sad passing yesterday, I believe. Ben, a 14-year-old penguin, which oh no. I believe is quite old for a penguin, right? So, uh, yeah, and a good friend of uh, of the zoo. And by the way, penguins are very monogamous. So he has a long-term partner, Bella. Mm. Quite sweet, quite sweet. And, and did you guys ever interact with Bella or not really part of your... <laughs> not really part of okay. our job. But you knew Ben, right? You yeah, knew we ben. knew Ben and Bella. Okay, okay. What so are we doing for the animals as part of the 50th anniversary? Are they getting a party? You know, like Teacher's hey. Day celebration kind of thing. Yeah. They're organizing <laughs> a surprise they party for the staff. Yeah. Oh, Are they? Oh, yeah, about yeah. It. Staff, we, okay. Yeah, remember? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no. No no party for the animals, Kumaran? Uh, not on my end. Oh. <laughs> they party every day. They party every day. <laughs> they party every day. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs>
Good answer. All right, Kumaran and Wendy, thank you so much for joining us here at the 1FM studio yes. this morning. We've learned so much about the Singapore Zoo and the important work that you guys do. Thank you so much on behalf of all the animal lovers here in Singapore. Keep up the great work and uh, yeah, we look forward to finding more orangutans and chimpanzees on Zinder. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for having thank us. Thank you for having us. Good time. Great.